Okay, let's start our installations. The first step is we need to connect the communication cables. So here's the communication cables. You can connect like IS485. Okay, this is the first step. The second step is we need to adjust the DFV adjust. We will give you a table list. So you can follow the list to set up the 24 pieces battery DFV adjust here. Okay, the third step is we need to connect the batteries with your laptop. Use our eyes 232 this communication call. Uh, after connect battery with your laptop, so you will check the battery status. The first, you will find that you can see the back quantity is 24 pieces online. So it means that all batteries are communication very well. Thus, you can and you also can check the pack voltage, like the 42 volt and capacity here, each cell's voltage and the alarm status. Right now, it, it shows like none, so it means that all batteries are communicating uh, very well. Okay. Step four is we need to connect the power lines between batteries and also with the inverters. Yeah, we have three type of the power lines. Here, this is the shortest line between the two batteries, and this is like uh, we have like battery number one, two, three, four, five, six. So the shortest power line and the second, uh, the middle lines, and also the power, the longest power line for batteries to connect with inverters. Before you starting the before you starting the emergency, you need to turn on the breakers. So right now we already turned on the breaker. So you can see our battery stages through the color control. Okay. Okay. So right now we haven't at any lows, so it just show the battery stages. Like SOC 46%, and then we can go to see more details. Okay. So right now you will find that 24 pieces battery online and the uh, uh, voltage for each cells. You can go back. Um, battery voltage, the SOC, and our brand BSL, BATT. Okay, it's done.